welcome to Rescue TV. We are here with Dr. Brooke Golden, a representative from Lyric Extended Wear Hearing Aid, a product developed by Phonak, one of the world's leading developers of incredible hearing solutions. Dr. Golden, thank you so much for joining Rescue TV. Thank you for having me. Um, one of the most incredible things that I learned in um, the information that was sent to me about the product you've developed is just how prolific hearing loss is for Australians. What are the statistics? Well, actually, one in six Australians suffer from hearing loss. One in six? One in six. And where are they developing this hearing loss? Are we talking about old men and women, or is this something that, uh, you know, we, we're get, getting the damage earlier on? It has to do with aging. Uh, there's also children that are born with hearing loss. So, um, yeah. And what about in this day and age where, you know, um, I'm certain, I might be a little bit older, but anyone younger than, um, you know, their 30s probably has had a lifetime of earbuds in their ears, mm -hmm. um, cell phones on their ears. Do you see that that's going to add to the proliferation of hearing loss uh, in younger people? I can foresee this. Actually, when yesterday I was at the, the fitness and I heard the, um, the music coming out of the earbuds, they're on these young people. And I just know that if you um, have uh, your earbuds, I mean, if you have music up past 80 decibels, 80 it's decibels is, is like a, it's, it's a train sound or an, an airplane flying above. Right, okay, so that's pretty loud. But most people love to hear their yes. favorite song loud. So they want to feel it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So one of the, th um, uh, I've seen on a couple of the programs and you've done so many television interviews, the Lyric um, hearing aid that you your company has developed mm. is actually the only product that's invisible, that's internal, and um, can stay in. So you can leave it in when you're sleeping, you can leave it in when you're swimming, Tell me about this. It's truly hassle-free, and that's what I like about the product the most. You can actually forget that you have a hearing aid. So we see a lot of, um, I want to say, psychological impact, uh, especially for the younger generation. And for women. Well, of course, yes. I mean, we, I mean, don't, really. we don't want attention drawn to, to our ears. We want and attention drawn to other I know places. it's so funny because there's, so, there's no stigma attached to wearing glasses. Yeah. There's no stigma yes. attached to lots yeah. of other things. But hearing aids suddenly are, are terribly, um, you know, aging in yeah. some respect. And, you know, the, it's, it's, this type of hearing aid is not for everyone. I first want to say we have at Phonak, we have a whole range of, of hearing products. But this hearing, law, uh, this hearing aid has been successful for those who aren't just ready to accept that they have a hearing loss and aren't ready to have to wear a hearing device that can be visibly seen. So with that population, and I've seen a great deal within the past few months, that they're not ready to, to announce to the public that they have a hearing loss. They still see it as an impediment. And unfortunately, that's what the public is still viewing it right now. Mm. But, um, for example, I was in an office last week, and I had this young patient. She just cried. She said, for the first time, I feel normal. Mm. And to, to look in her eyes, and we went through hours of counseling, how you're going from being hearing impaired to hearing empowered. Mm. And do you okay. offer counseling as part of part of the procedure? It's the audiologist, the, the provider. Wow. It's just built into our scope of practice. Of course, the patient comes first, and we want to, to make sure that they're ready for this. Now, we have actually been trialing uh, this product and the process. As, as you know, um, something we do on Rescue is we don't just blindly recommend things. We, we do trial everything. And so one of the things that I found fascinating, which I was telling you before, is once you start talking about hearing loss, it's just incredible how many people come out of the woodworks to, to say that they've got some form, mm -hmm. some spectrum mm -hmm. of hearing loss. And you were saying that 85% of people with hearing loss don't get help? They don't. Because they don't want the hearing exactly. aid. Exactly. Because wow. the, the way the public views hearing loss, That's unfortunately. Incredible. Yes. incredible. So in our trial, we've been going through the process. So um, why don't you tell us about what uh, a consultation to um, actually having one fitted, mm -hmm. um, w what the process is with, with this product? Because I think it's, it's very different. And, and it's very extremely important. Yeah. Because um, this product is not for everyone. 
So the first step. So who is it for? Let's just be clear on who yes. it's for. Yes, you would you go to your provider and first they would do a hearing a hearing test. And the hearing test needs to, to the hearing loss needs to fall into a mild to moderately severe range okay. um, for this patient. And then we want to look and delve into the lifestyle of this patient. This product is not for those who are avid scuba divers or skydivers because of the sudden pressure change. So we look at that and also the anatomy of the ear canal. You need to have the, right. the proper length and the width of the ear. Uh, your past medical history, if you have chronic uh, ear infections, um, right. you would because be it's internal. Exactly. And just be ready for 24-7 hearing. You'd be surprised, I mean this is a, an added advantage for this uh, hearing device, that 24-7 you can have it, which is great for safety. But some patients just aren't ready for 24-7 hearing, <laughs> especially those with snoring husbands or wives. <laughs> I remember when I was younger and I lived in a flat and you know the people upstairs used to complain about the noise and we used to yell out, turn off your hearing aid! <laughs> it was funny, this one comment um, I, I had from a patient, he came in the next day and he said, I didn't realize how noisy it was. He said, the world. between my wife and the birds chirping in the morning, they woke me up. And he said, I'm happy for this. But he said, it's just an adjustment. So it's been, it's been an amazing adventure um, helping to launch this product in Australia. So and let's just yeah. go back to the consultation process. Yes, yes. So first, you're assessed for your suitability. And, and how long from that? from when you get first assessed to when you get fitted? Because I assume it's a custom product and it's a custom fitting. Well, we don't need to make your impressions. Great. It's offered in five different sizes. And again, it depends on the length of the ear canal mm -hmm. and the width. So the audiologist would go through the fitting process and decide the ear canal. Right. And then you would follow up a week later and after the ear canal to make sure that it's free of any debris or cerumen, mm -hmm. that it's completely clean. Yeah. We insert the device and once we insert it, it's in place for up to four months. Incredible. It's amazing. You can forget that you have a hearing loss. And now, um, one of the things that we've experienced with our trial is that it can be a little bit uncomfortable yes. as your body is adjusting yes. to it. Talk to us about yes. that. There is an awareness phase that yes. lasts from two days to certain patients to up to two weeks. So this is a process that um, with the audiologists, they work with the patient and identify that and to bring them back in until they're comfortable. So when you're talking about comfortable, is it is it the hearing or is it the physical, having something physical it's, in your body? It's having something in an area that has not had Like anything. contact lenses? Yes. So like when so you body, first start yes. wearing contact lenses? You feel we don't know how the body is going to react. Mm -hmm. uh, the body is saying, hey, this is a foreign object that's in a place that's nothing's ever touched. So it's just a, a process that the body has to take. And also it depends too on the psychological um, part of, that the patient goes sure. through. Now but the other thing I want to ask you, which I found really interesting, is that you fit hearing aids to both ears, mm -hmm. yes. not to the one or, so for example, if someone has got hearing loss in one ear, it doesn't matter, you're actually fitting to both ears. Is that unusual for this particular device or is that always no, with hearing aids? It's, with hearing aids you fit, if they had normal hearing on one side, you wouldn't fit a, a hearing aid. Okay. But if you had hearing loss in both ears, you want to make sure that you have hearing aids in both ears sure. due to localization right. and okay. safety. And the other thing that I noticed is that you've got some kind of device that can um, kind of like a remote control for your ears, which I thought was so nifty. I loved it. Yeah. I wish I'd have brought that. It's, yeah. it's called I, our I, sound I link. And it's the patients are able to turn on or off the hearing device or they can turn it up or down. So if you do have a snoring wife or husband, you can always just reach up and turn it off and just put it by your bedstand. That's fantastic. Now, is there any kind of maintenance or care that's specific and what happens after the four months? This is what's brilliant about this. There's no removal to change batteries. There's no removal to clean, which a lot of the older population has problems with this, if you think about it. I saw this fantastic segment on the Today Show, and um, the lady that you had on there was the mother of three young kids. She was gorgeous yeah. too. Yes. And I can absolutely see from her perspective, I mean, she really is representative of the rescue reader. Yes. Um, attractive, full and balanced life, but you know, one thing that was really kind of holding her back. Can you tell us more about, you know, what you were able to do with the Lyric in her life? 
Well, she has. She leads a very active lifestyle. Not only that, her husband is away a lot in business. So she came to to us mainly concerned for safety for her children. She said, "At night, I want to be able to hear if there's an intruder or something happening in my home." For the kids, I can relate to that. Like you do want to be on yes. alert. Yes, exactly. So that's why she came to us first with Lyric, but also she said that the added benefit of her able to wear her earbuds to listen to her music while she runs has just been an extra added advantage. So from a lifestyle perspective. And the other thing that I noticed um, in the interview is in the pre-things, she always wore her hair down and she was stunning. And then in the post, she was always in a ponytail. Yes. And I thought, what a, you know, something you take for granted, you do... You know, we're all women yes. and we are conscious of how we look. It's, it's yes. a big part of how we feel about ourselves. It, most definitely. Yesterday I had a young girl. She was in her early 20s and she came to me for Lyric. And she looked, she said, you know what? I have not worn my hair up in six years. Mm -hmm. And where she works, she goes, I just want to be able to wear my hair up. And something like that. I mean, it's, And not think about it. Yes. And and for people not to, to look at her. Now, she has worn traditional Or to go on a date yes. and kind of yes. feel like, you know, you can do whatever and not have to worry about... Oh, See, this is something we don't think about, but yes, it's, it's the case. And let's talk about um, one of the key benefits of the lyric, which is the hassle-free element. Hassle-free. The three key benefits, 24-7, you can wear it, not think about it. The hassle-free part, not having to change batteries, not having to take it out to be reminded that you have hearing loss. Yeah, who needs another thing to remember? Uh, exactly. <laughs> I know this, especially for a woman on the go. Absolutely. And the third is invisibility. Fantastic. Now, we are also going to do uh, an interview with Nazarin, who uh, road tested this product for us on behalf of Rescue. Um, so stand by for that. But thank you so much, thank Dr. Goldman. It was for just me. an absolute pleasure to meet you, and um, congratulations for bringing such an amazing uh, scientific development to Australia. We're really grateful for it. Thank you. Thank you.